hello everyone welcome to today's video so have you received your payslip in ireland and you're unsure about all the figures on your payslip well you are not alone in today's video we are going to look at the different sections on your payslip and what each one represents so by the end of today's video you should be able to pick up that payslip and then understand it with much ease okay just to add that in ireland you might have different payslip ranging from company to company like the private section might be a bit different for that of the health service executive which is the government sector however most of the informations on your payslip are usually the same and they all mean the same Thing. So let's dive right into today's video. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use this pay sleep as an example, okay, for our discussion today. Yeah, so this is very simple. And just to say that some pay sleep might be a bit different, okay, like with the HSC payslip you might find some things on it that it's not over here okay like your hour, your hourly rates might be stated your next increments dates might be stated as well and some people even put your your tax credits and like your tax rate band and all those information might be stated on it but here we don't have it on this payslip so in case you see anything like that it's just a company to company okay so here we have the company name and we also have employer name over here as you can see um when you go further we have employer number and you also have the department the departments that you are actually working in okay and then we also have the frequency the frequency is it monthly is it bi-weekly is it weekly it all depends on your employer okay you also have your pps number as you can all see one two three it depends on your your your, your everybody has their own special pps number that's what i'm trying to say you also have the pay dates which you are which you are paid okay we also have the cost so the cost is a cost center allocated to you by employer okay and also your pay period which is the uh, the pay period that's the date related so is it for that is april um for the monthly paid and also the week um paid as well okay so that is it so now let's look at the other section as well so the next thing is your payment details so the payment details this will list out what you are being paid for okay for this period okay so you also have the dex which is the name of the payment you are being paid for and we also have the tn which is the taxable or next payment indicator okay you also have the hours which is the hours you are paid and um, they'll be listed under here okay and then you also have the value which is the value for each payment that is being made to you okay and then we also have the deduction details which is the list out all the um, deductions and um, and also like voluntary deductions and uh, statutory deductions made by you as well and then we also have um, over here the t and which the g is for the i think the gross okay we have the gross pay we have the gross pay in the end for the net the net payment as well okay yeah so we also have so that's for gross okay and then net payments and all of that so we have the this period which is going to show the value per every period that you are paying for and also the balance okay so the balance is a year to date balance i'm going to explain that is a year to date balance so if you've paid i'll come back to that so that's the year to date balance okay so um we can all see that the person's salary is stated here as salary and then um you also have the hours is the hours is not here but usually if it's 84 hours to be able to be here it will be 70 let's say if you work for seven seven days okay and then uh per fortnight for 12 hours let's say to be 84 it's going to be written here however you can see that the person's value is here which is three thousand euros okay and then you have the b the bik uh, medical and then bik Car, okay so the bik is a benefit in kind which refers to a non-cash um, benefit for monetary value that your employer provides for their employees okay so it's a um the, your employee is the one who is paying for that benefit giving that to you okay so it's a it's a, um since they have a monetary value they must be treated as a taxable income as well okay so that is given as 75 
euros and then uh, th that of the car is given at 350 so this also actually depends on the company for me i don't have this on my pay slip so if you do have this on your pay slip then that's what it means okay so it's a kind of benefit from your employer but it's non-cash benefit so it's a non-cash benefit and the employer is the one who pays for that okay and then you have if you have any kind of bonus at all yes it's going to be taxed so in ireland the bonus is taxable please yes in case you don't know you are going to be taxed for any bonus for any voucher anything like that you are going to be tax for it you can see that it's 1500 euros for the person sorry and then you have overtime yes for the nurses yes i'm going to see overtime here like uh, any other profession okay and then if it, this one is actually stating the hours so just as i said earlier on usually your salary will also state the hours over here for you so for overtime is going to be stated over here if you have any premium like sunday premium um, night premium also going to be stated here the hours is also going to reflect at the hours uh, section and then you're going to have the value as well okay yeah so we are done with this section if you have any confusion over here you can equally drop it i'm going to explain to you as well so i'm going to move to the deduction details portion as well so we have the payee which is your tax okay so the pay actually and it's actually deducted after deduction of your pension okay so your pension is not taxable they'll actually take your pension first before they're going to take your pay as you earn uh, payments over here yeah so that's the so the pay pay uh, the payee uh, based on this income okay is uh, 1173.94 okay so right where you can see the balance is stating the accumulative um, payee for that period okay so assuming that let's say we are in january and then we are in the last month of january and you have been paid every fortnight that you have been paid twice so it's going to reflect the the, the the payment that you've done for that january so let's say right now we are in the month of april okay so this balance is going to state the payment of your payee from january to april which is going to be the balance okay so uh, i hope this actually helps out for um you all yes so so it's just the year to date balance okay then you have the prsi which is a social contribution that's a pay related social insurance which is going to be 211 okay and then we have the universal social charge which is also another form of uh, social insurance payments which is also 318 okay so mostly we have this three this three uh, deductions which is going to be made okay yes but if uh, if you have actually signed up for any pension i want to see the pension over here which is going to be stated okay you're going to see your, uh, your 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 pension which is going to come from your employer and also your yourself as well so that is 150 euros as we can see and then there's a voluntary insurance okay so there's an additional voluntary insurance towards your pension you know with your pension you can choose to pay three percent your employer is also going to pay three percent but in an instance where you want to pay more okay like for instance for myself i have i'm paying three percent for my pension my employer is also paying three percent for my pension and i'm also doing a voluntary uh, additional voluntary so it's additional voluntary contribution you can choose to do like five percent or ten percent it depends on you that is also going to be charged but for the sake of this pay slip the person is actually doing um 150 okay it's the same value the same value as a voluntary one if you have any health um, any health deduction as well health insurance for any of your dependents or anything that's also going to be taken and then you have your prsa which is a personal retirement saving account contribution okay so that's a personal one if you have if you want to do any personal retirement savings you can also do that and then that will be that's going to be reflected here as well so you can see that the person's personal um retirement savings account is just 50 for the balance which means that that is the first payment okay so for the next period if the person makes another payment of 50 is going to reflect at the balance as 100 just to make it more clearer for you all to understand the balance section okay so for the next two fortnights if the person pays another 50 the balance is going to reflect as 150 Okay, which means the person has made the payments of three uh, three consecutive payments. Okay, so I hope we all understand this section of our pay slip. It might actually differ. It might actually differ from um, from your company, but basically it's the same thing. So now let's look at the cumulative details and then the tax and PRSI details. So we are now going to look at the cumulative details. Okay, and so with that one, the cumulative details is going to show your year uh, to date earnings and then tax allowance summary. 
okay so it's just accumulative as uh, cumulative as the name goes okay so your gross pay is your total earnings in the current year okay so your total earnings is going to reflect here everything that you've earned for that year is that's what shows your gross pay and then the non-tax deduction okay so with the non-tax deduction some people might see it as zero okay if you don't have any pension pay that you might see this as zero because i have that experience at first mine was zero so i started my pension payment so if you start your pension payment that's going to be the total of whatever that you've paid okay yes so we have one three two four over here for the non um tax deduction so that's your pension your uh, prs so that is your the, this contribution of, okay and the, so that's what you're, and then or any other gross uh, deductions okay it's going to reflect over there and then your taxable pay that is your your taxable earnings in that current year is going to be reflect is going to reflect here and then your tax credits so the tax credits is your personal tax credits that is used for that year okay so i'm going to make a video about that just for you guys to really understand and then you have the standard cut off uh, cut off point so with the standard cut off point um is actually the cut off point for your tax so any any other earnings above this standard cut off point means that i'm going to pay more okay so usually like in this year it's like forty two thousand for single people if you are married like fifty one thousand and then your partner gets uh thirty three thousand okay so you have that standard rate so if you are if you are, if you earn more than that cutoff point then whatever is going to be charged going to be charged on forty percent okay so that is it and then you have the tax paid so tax paid uh, so far for the year is also here so you can see that the tax paid so far for that year actually reflects the same thing at the balance okay which shows that is the same thing for that year whatever you've paid is going to reflect over there okay yes yeah, so now let's look at the tax and the PRSI details so we have the tax code which is the tax code used to calculate your tax okay whether normal whether accumulative basis weekly monthly or whatever and then we have the emr st period okay which indicates they started on emergency basis this year okay and then we ha also have the tax credits which is your personal tax credits value okay applied so it might be two sides so if you are married you might see that yours will be more if you are single yours might be less okay so we all know that the tax credit for single is different for a married person is different for um let's say a single person a single parent is different so i'm going to do a video just to explain that just not to bore you all with it yes and then we also have the pay the pay um code okay that's the prsi class which uh, which you are so most of the critical skill workers we are on class a we have different types of prsi uh, class so um that was going to be a different video for for this pay slip is a class a but most of the nurses okay they are going to be um it's going to be class a as well okay so then a total insurable weeks um which is the total insurable weeks to date in this employment from the start of the year okay so if you are paid a monthly the first one which is january you are going to see this as four if uh, you are paid fortnightly the first pay slip is going to sh show two and then the second pay slip is going to show four so every if it's fortnightly it's going to be two in each month if it's monthly it's going to be four okay so we can see that this uh, payment is actually 17 okay so it depends on how uh, the weeks in which you are being paid they are being paid okay so that is it and then we have the comment section so the comment section details your employer contributions okay you have the employer prsi contribution okay the employer also pays prsi yes and then we also have employer contributions for the year the total payment they've done for the year okay and then you also have the employer um pension so when you pay pension employer also pays your pension for you okay and then you also have total that they've also paid for the year for you as well and then you have the bik which is the benefits in kind paid this year which is this benefit that the employer has paid the bik medical we can see in the bik car so this is going to show the total that the employer has paid so uh, year to date okay if you see the yte a uh, ytd is the year to date that your employer has paid for the year so to wrap it up we have the gross payments as we can all see after all the uh, uh, the value is being calculated that is a gross payment okay and then you have the total deductions which is going to be your pr uh, payee prsi usg okay payments but without the pension okay and then all of that is going to be here as well and then you have the non-taxable 
uh, payments like your uh, your pension your prsa those things are not taxable okay so that's going to be a taxable non-taxable so those things are going to be deducted that's why it's important for you to pay your pension because it's going to be deducted before your your, your salary is going to be taxed so that is the non-taxable payment and then you also have the net this is going to be what you are going to receive in your bank accounts okay so that is it for this pay slip as well which is just going to be like um that of the hsc so the hsc are going to see something i think over here just going to show your your points that you are on and uh, it's going to show the next increment that you are going to be paid it's either going to be at the top or at the bottom okay. so this is the end of today's video i hope that this video has been of great help to you and you can now look at your pay slip and then explain and understand um each and every figure on your pay slip if you have any question for me no worries you can just put it at the comment section of this video and i'll definitely answer that query for you also remember to like this video share and also hit the subscription bell if you haven't done so so that you'll be part of this great family thank you to all my old folks who always come to, to support uh, my my channel i really appreciate you all and stay blessed bye